People who are observers of nature should be recorders of nature. Not only should you be going out into your backyard and observing what's going on, but you should also be writing it down. And people who do that create what's called a nature journal. A nature journal is like a diary. And the first thing you need in a nature journal is something to write on. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're writing it on. I have this old um, loose leaf pad here from college. I have a notepad here that I've used in the past. I have a smaller notepad because it fits more easily in my backpack. I have a hardbound notepad and I have a loose leaf binder for even combining notes. So if you don't have any of these, obviously at this time you can't go out and buy one, but you can make one if you have paper. All right, I, what I did was I took some copy paper and I cut two holes in it, folded it in half, and I'm gonna just tie some string through it, some little ribbon that I borrowed, and then I'll have something I can create a new, brand new nature journal for myself about what's happening in the backyard here. All it is, all it takes is one nut. Just like this. And there we have the nature journal. Okay? Just ready to start. But but what do we put in the nature journal exactly? Let's find out. So what should you write in your nature journal? You should take a slow walk around your yard and write down everything that you see that's happening. Because nature is all about timing and different things happen at different times. For example, this bush over here came into flower about three weeks ago. But pretty soon the petals are gonna fall off and the leaves are gonna pop out. This plant over here is just has buds. And the buds are about to burst open and then there'll be flowers on this tree. So different things happen at different times and you should be recording all this. If you are a little bit artistic, you can possibly draw pictures of what's happening. And if you, it's important that you write down your thoughts about everything that you're seeing and observing. You also might wanna write a poem about what you're seeing. All of these things you put in your journal and from year to year, these things will change and you'll be enlightened and you'll learn a lot about nature, but you'll also learn a lot about yourself. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully we sparked your interest and now you want to create your own nature journal. Writing down your own thoughts, drawing your own pictures. Remember, this is your journal. Enjoy it.